is another example of a question involving work. You have a reaction occurring in aqueous solution. It gives you half a mole of gas at constant temperature and pressure. Okay. And calculate the work involved. Well, the thing about changing, uh, producing a gas, okay, Ch a change that produces a gas, minus P external delta V, if you remember your ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, right? Anytime you have a change in the amount of gas in your sample, there's going to be a major change in the volume. Because if you produce a mole of gas, let's say at STP, what's the volume of a mole of gas at STP? 22.4 liters. That's a big change in volume. So it, when we did the earlier example with water, we just have changing the temperature door, it stayed a liquid. Okay, the liqu liquids and solids don't change very much in terms of volume when you change the temperature. Okay. But anytime you have a process where a gas is involved, if there's a change in the temperature or you have a reaction that produces a gas, okay, there's going to be a significant change in the volume. And pretty much you can ignore the changes in the volume of whatever solid or liquid you have there. You can just ignore uh, the solids and liquids. The change in the volume will be pretty much the change in the volume of the gas. Okay? So if the volume of the gas changes, how do you calculate that from your ideal gas equation? P delta V, okay, would be due to a change in the number of moles of gas. Delta N gas times RT, okay? So at constant pressure, the change in the volume would be just delta N gas RT divided by P. So uh, P delta V would just be delta N gas times RT. And so we use that to solve, to answer this question here. We have a reaction, okay, and it produces half a mole of gas. So it's gonna. So if you have, imagine you have, okay, a reaction, a reaction mixture here, okay, it's gonna push up that wall to generate the gas, the half a mole of gas. It will expand, okay. So what would be the work involved here? Work will just be negative. Change in moles of gas in this problem is given as half a mole. So 0 0.500 moles of gas times RT. What is RT? RT is 0 .08206. Remember your R from ideal gas law? liter atmosphere per mole per Kelvin times, what's our temperature? 298 Kelvin. Okay. So if you did this, what would your answer be? What, you, what would be the units for your answer? Kelvin cancels out. Mole cancels out. You'll have your answer in liter atmosphere, right? But if you want your answer in joules, what would you have to do? One liter atmosphere is 101.325 joules, right? So you multiply this by 101.325 joules for one liter atmosphere. Okay? So you can change your R in joules, okay? Look at this. Uh, 0 0.08206 times 101.325. That's 8.314, okay? So uh, a more convenient unit for R, a convenient number to use for R. Oops, what did I just do? Would be to use 8.314. So we can say this is negative 0 0.500 moles times R, which is 8.314. If you want your answer in joule, might as well use this value for R. Okay, so R, these are two good numbers to remember for R. It's 0 0.08. 206 liters times atmosphere per mole per Kelvin and a liter atmosphere is 101.325 joules so that's equal to 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole okay so multiply that by 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole and our temperature is 298 Kelvin 
So mole cancels out, Kelvin cancels out. What would that give you? So our work is equal to negative 0 0.50 moles times RT. That's 8.314 times 298. That's 2477 joules, okay? So, 2.477 joules, 2,477 joules. Okay. Oh, there's no units of canceled out, right? So two hundred two hundred four seven six. Ah, yeah, it's joules. Okay. So work would be half of that. So two four seven seven times point five. That gives you one thousand two hundred thirty eight. So one two one point twenty three one point twenty four times ten to the third joules. Okay. Or negative 1.24 kilojoules. So that's the amount of work. Okay, So you can see that's not negligible compared to the previous numbers that we've been dealing with. Okay. Now this expression RT occurs very often in our calculations. So it's a good, no, it's a good thing to remember that a ballpark figure for that is what? What's a ballpark figure for RT at room temperature? 2,477. That's about 2,500 joules. So that's two and a half kilojoules. Okay. So this is approximately right here. This is approximately two and a half kilojoules. That's a good number to remember. Okay. That's two and a half kilojoules per mole. You're going to encounter that a lot. So. If you want to be able to quickly ballpark a number, uh, think of that as an estimate. 